Hi, this is Dynamis333. My brothers and sisters, get excited. I'm expecting the rapture to take place on the day of the true Pentecost on Sunday, the 19th of September, 2021. Um, my brothers and sisters, I believe that the Lord is coming in waves of power and glory. Now, look at this. This is Pentecost of the Christian Church. When the Lord is coming on Pentecost now, because this is Pentecost of the new millennium Christian Church. Just as the church started with uh, persecution, the new millennium church will also start with persecution. The, the enemy will want to uh, destroy it from its very beginning. But it, we know the story is not going to succeed in doing that. But look at this. This is what happened when, this is what the Lord said, when he just before he ascended into heaven. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem. The two witnesses, Moses and Elijah, are going to receive power on the day of Pentecost, uh, September the 19th. And they're going to witness in Jerusalem from that day forward for 1,260 uh, 1, days. We are going to receive power to go up in the rapture. No, notice what we read here. Um, since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you. Now, who are those who are troubling us now? What are we, what are we being threatened with now? We, you know what I'm talking about. Many are being threatened with loss of jobs, loss of their homes, loss of, uh, you know, loss of things that they, you know, their, loss of their freedom. You know, that's the, that's, this is prophetic. The Lord didn't come in their time. He's coming in our time. And yet, what they experienced then is what we're experiencing now because this is a fulfillment of what uh, is being said here. Um, God will repair with tribulation those who trouble you and to give you who are troubled rest with us. It's happening. It's amazing that Sunday, even though it's not um, the Sabbath, but it is a Sunday, it's going to be a day of rest. That's when we're going, the 19th. When the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven, with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. You see, this is Pentecost, my brothers and sisters, the glory of his power. When he comes in that day to be glorified in his saints. When that day comes, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be lifting up our hands and we're going to be glorifying Jesus. And as the waves of glory and power uh, start flowing in our direction. And to be admired among all those who believe. You see? But look what goes on to say down here. It says, Therefore we also pray always for you that our God will count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power you see the work of faith is always with power there's always dynamis power at work in our lives now what's going to happen on the day of pentecost is that power is going to be increased to the max and that's what's going to transform our bodies now what i what led me to do this video is when i realized um i just remembered actually that the the rapture is going to take place in waves on the same day, there's going to be more than one wave of glory and power that's going to be taking people up. Now, this is uh, something I posted. This, this is, look, this is 20, 2015. Um, let me just read this. I'll leave this in the comments. So this uh, lady was asking, Coral Knight was asking Melinda Perkins. Melinda Perkins, when you say the Lord revealed to you that the rapture comes in waves, please, if possible, could you explain that further? Thank you. And this is what Melinda, uh, this is her response. First, I will say that it is always possible that I misinterpreted what I was seeing. Having said that, what I believed I was seeing was people being pulled from the planet. Then a pause. Although the vision happened very quickly, in my mind it seemed that few hours may have passed. Then another wave came over the earth and more were taken up. This kept happening 
throughout the day. So there's going to be more than one rapture taking place on the same day. It seemed that the pause allowed for those that understood what was happening to witness to those that did not, and that people were coming to Jesus throughout the day. This reminds me of the parable of the workers that were called to help with the harvest right up to the 11th hour so that the maximum possible harvest was achieved. I felt I received a confirmation in, in what I saw when I heard another person tell of her dream where she had some others witness two people being taken up. Everyone ran to the place where these two people had been standing. The others began crying out, why didn't the Lord take us too? The woman having the dream said she heard the Lord say, it is already done. She then said to everyone, let's go to church. There they prayed and sang and soon they also were taken up. So you see, all hope is not lost. So, my brothers and sisters, when that day, when we are arrive that day, and you and uh, if you, you know, be among those people that for, for whatever reason you didn't go up, don't despair. Just spend time praying, glorifying God, because that power is still present. Hmm? That power, the glory is still present. So just keep praying. Just uh, if, you have, if you have anything that you may have done or, you know, like I tell people that, look, you know, certain things will keep you here. Repent of those things straight away and just start praying and you will go up. You see, the Lord is merciful. He wants to take as many people as are willing. So this gives hope for uh, people who think, oh, it's just going to be one second and that's it. One, one minute, one second rapture gone and then that's your left. No, don't give up. There's going to be waves of glory and power because oh, that whole day is a rapture day. You see, so my brothers and sisters, I just want to, I'll leave this, um, uh, this, uh, in the in the comments and then um, you can read it all through but there's more than one uh, rapture taking place on the same day i'm looking at sunday the 19th of september as the true the day of the true pentecost so my brothers and sisters i'll speak to you soon god bless you